Stephen here from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how we refinish this two drawer chest of drawers. I mean well, I've got this um, out of a skip to be fair and when I first saw it I see it sort of with just that side only and I thought oh what a good little find then when I got it home I noticed all this I said to my wife okay I think we've got ourselves a proper dud I don't think it's worth repairing and um, we'll just break it up tomorrow and um, take it to the tip then I went to work the next day and sitting in a corner of a garage was this 5mm ply and what's this 5mm so I went and asked the guy kindly um, if I could have it and he says yeah so I guess what I'm trying to say is is it went from throwing it away to being able to repair it because I weren't really going to spend any sort of major money on it um, buying the um, plywood and stuff to repair it so I guess upcycling is about faith that you will come across what you need at times um, and then the, 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 the dots will join together you've just got to take a leap of faith into it okay then what we need to refinish this two drawer or chest of drawers is a saw, a hammer, an orbital sander, some plywood. The plywood's not quite cut to size, it's just cut to manageable lengths. Some paintbrush, some mustard colour paint, some clear varnish, some filler, some three quarter inch tacks and a pencil. Let's do this guys. Right then guys, another couple of tools that I forgot was a set of pliers so you're able to pull the pins out and a sharp chisel. I totally forgot about them. Right, now we've got it all stripped. As you can see. Right, so make sure all these top bits clean sanded flat I mean there's like a little packer there but that's glued I'm going to leave that there that was obviously there for a reason and make sure the same at the back and the same at the side I can't believe I forgot to mention a sharp chisel and some pliers but I did you know progress not perfection okay guys as you can see I've replaced the sides and I've replaced the back but also what I had to do was secure the runners as well because when I pulled that side bit off um, the runners come off with it so I had to fix them I'm just going to show you how we put the top on basically I'm going to show you how we scribe it um, to make it fit okay guys to scribe it in to make it fit um, we just Right, which did I have it? That's it. Right, that's what I've got marked as the good edge. And this side's the good edge as well. So what I did was, was I made sure I made it, um, let's say two inches bigger all the way around. Now we've got this good edge, we can butt it up to there. and this good edge we can butt it up to there then we get our pencil and we just we just use the item you know that, that we're working on to to make it fit so then we get our pencil up against the edge and just mark it like so and then do the same here and 
Now I'm going to take this outside and cut it with a saw. Mark it there, but that's the side that's cut. And that's the back. And then go and cut it. Okay, another couple of things I forgot to mention um, at the beginning, but you just always need stuff as you sort of go along. Was um, PVA glue, or you know wood glue, and a nail punch. That you know that that would help as well. You know, sorry that I um, forget about these things at the beginning, but you just don't realise what you need when you actually get started. Right, enough said for that then. Anyway, so. This is now cut to size. So first I've got a little bit of glue. Right, now it's all pinned, I'm just going to sand these edges a bit. Okay guys, um, as you can see, we're all repaired. Let me just show you. And also, we're pretty much all sanded down as well. Um, I've sanded the legs, I did that with an orbital sander. I've sanded most of this. I just need to sand more of this. So what I have is some 80 grit sandpaper and that's what I sanded the sides and this drawer with and all we're going to do is just key it up like so it's all a good dust and a good wipe Okay guys, and now this two drawer chest of drawers is ready for painting. And what we're going to paint it in is this mustard furniture velvety smooth paint self priming from B&Q. It says you don't need any primer, so I'm just going to give it three coats of this. And then the legs I'm going to paint in this black ebony. So let's get cracking.
we'll give that 12 hours to dry and give the legs a coat now and that's it all first coated guys okay it's already had a second coat so all we've got to do now really is put the third coat on it and what I have here is some 180 grit sandpaper and I suggest we just give it a little light sanding down Let's do these legs. Okay guys, it's all repaired and painted. Guys, just to let you know, I was going to varnish, clear varnish the um, legs, but I decided to do them black because they have black bits on the handle, so that was the reason for the colour change. Um, and also, you could put a clear varnish on this to add some more protection, but this stuff says it goes fully hard within 10 days, so I'm just going to leave it the 10 to 15 days to see how durable this stuff um, really is. Um, and then if it's not as durable as what I think, I will now add, add a couple of coats of varnish on. Let me just give you a whirl. Look, I know it's no antique, but this was in quite a bad way and we have rescued another bit of furniture and someone somewhere will have this and like this, so. And that's how you upcycle a two drawer chest of drawers. Um, before I finish up, I just wanna say during this crisis, please stay safe. So if you've got anything from this video, please subscribe. Please like and please share and please leave a comment down below. Thank you very much guys. Like I say, stay safe.